Pasco County continues to grow. New shops and restaurants leading to more cars on the road. People tonight telling ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone they avoid rush hour if they can. She's driving Tampa Bay forward, explaining how transportation officials plan to reduce serious crashes there and delays. No matter what direction you are driving on State Road 56, you will diverge or cross to the left side of the road through the interchange. The Florida Department of Transportation illustrates with this animation how they'll convert the State Road 56 and I-75 interchange into a diverging diamond or DDI. Simply put, at each end of State Road 56, we're going to have traffic cross over to the left side of the road. So if you have cars that are westbound, FDOT officials hosted an open house on Tuesday night showing design plans for three projects, including the diverging diamond in Pasco County, where construction started in February. But I had heard from other people that it works. And that's all I care, as long as it works. <laughs> FDOT officials say a DDI will reduce delays by allowing traffic to enter the interstate without waiting at a left turn signal. It's designed to reduce traffic crashes and reduce congestion on interstate ramps. In the uh, peak hours in the afternoons and evenings, we can back up that whole ramp sometimes, which is two miles long. Drivers could also learn about two other projects, including construction that started two years ago on the State Road 56 extension from Meadow Point Boulevard to US 301 in southeastern Pasco County. The new six mile long roadway will include multi use trails completed later this year. Another project includes State Road 54 widening from east of Curley Road to east of Morris Bridge Road. A two lane road becoming four lanes, expected to be complete in two years. Pasco County's growing and they, I think they're kind of a little behind the times, but they've recognized they've got issues and they're working on them. And that's what, that's what counts. Construction on the diverging diamond is expected to be complete in late 2021. Right now, there are no lane closures, but drivers can expect them as the project continues. Reporting in Pasco County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.